What's a real man look like in this day and age? Does he bench press twice his body weight or wrestle in a cage? Can a man wear lilac cardigans or dance upon a stage and does he only read the sports poll out or can he scan the fashion page? And would a real man treat a woman as an object? Or when he sees that happen, would he stand and object? Stereotypes tell us that real men love belching, farting, paintballing, go-karting, football, rugby and knocking back pints, boxing, UFC and any film with fights and explosions. And most of all, real men never speak about emotions. I'm sorry, but there's got to be more to being manly. I'm not saying those things are wrong, it's just there's so much more a man can be. Let's move past the surface and get down to the heart of it. We live in a nation, a generation that they call fatherless. Some men do a good job, other men do rather less. Some dads are absent, others are abusive. It's no wonder young people's role models are the stars of sport or music. It's easier to aspire to be like the ones you'll never know than the one who hurt and bruised you or left you on your own. My mum barely knows her father and I see how much that hurt her. But knowing that my dad would never leave or desert her or us, there's a special kind of freedom that comes from knowing that you're loved. A real man will sacrifice for his children and his wife. A real man might be single for the whole of his life. Real men pursue real women and it makes them better guys. They don't lie or cheat their way into hearts or choose only with their eyes. They know like an iceberg most of a woman's content is found beneath the surface. And you're guaranteed to sink your ship if you view deeper things as worthless. A real man will make mistakes. And sometimes promises he'll break. But he strives to be open and honest, he's not comfortable being fake. A real man has principles and knows what he stands for. But he's also willing to learn, willing to understand more. Real men try to keep their word and take responsibility, and there's depth to their character and not just their CV. A real man admits his fears and sometimes finds it hard to cope, but through ups and downs over the years, he'll never lose his hope. And it's kind of scary seeing just how high the bar's been raised, but we're not saved by living good lives, we live good lives because we're saved. We've known the love of a perfect father, who never lets us down, who chose us and protects us and turned our lives around. And now he gives us the blueprint for real men, and we get to live it out. And sometimes we'll do that quietly, sometimes we'll raise a shout. And we're not called to just be a fan of God, but to live life as a man of God. And we don't just give God a Facebook like, but walk with him day by day and have our face in his book for life. And then we hold spirit and truth out to the old, out to the youth. Because that is what real men do.